Hello, my name is Paul Miners, and welcome back to another one of my pipe drive training videos. In this video, I want to talk about how you can make your pipe drive contacts more searchable. The use case for this is if, like me, you use Pipedrive as your source of truth, if it's where you keep all of the contacts in your business, then you really want to set it up so that it's very easy to search for the contacts based on maybe different groups or ways of tagging the contacts into different categories, or even maybe just using a simple keyword search. If I just want to search for everyone that is working in design, for example, I want to make it so that however I can think how I might want to find somebody or search for a type of contact, I want to be able to just type something in and find everyone really quick and easily. If you have any questions at the end of this video, please feel free to leave me a comment below. And if you would like more one-on-one -on -one help with setting up your Pipedrive account, optimizing it for your sales process, training your team, or maybe even automating parts of your sales process, then click the link in the description below to learn more about the Pipedrive consulting options that we offer. So let's get into it. And there's a couple of ways that we can uh, make contacts more searchable. The first is, and you can see in this uh, list of contacts here, I have this column or field, which is the label of the contact. And if I click into the contact, you'll see the label at the very top. It's this drop down field here. Now, this is just a default field. When you create your Pipedrive account, you'll see this. You'll probably have different options to what I've got here. And you can change these options if you want to add a new label with a color, you can. The important thing to remember is that this is a single option field. So if I change Tim Cook to a customer here, I can't have him be a customer and a referral partner. You can only fit into one category or you can only have one label applied to the contact at a time. So the label field here is typically used as the primary identifier for a contact where the different options are mutually exclusive. So you might have like customers and then referral partners where all your referral partners, they're not, they're never ever going to be customers. So that's okay. And vice versa, your customers are never going to be referral partners, maybe for the type of business that you have. Uh, just keep that in mind because you can't, you obviously wouldn't want to be in a situation where you want to apply the same, you know, two different labels to the same contact. So that's the label. And again, that's generally the main way you would identify what type of contact they are. If you do want to apply multiple kind of, let's just call them tags. I mean, Pipedrive doesn't have a tagging system as such, but let's just call them tags, or let's just say we want to group people into multiple categories. You can do that using custom fields. So you can see I've got a bunch of fields here. Actually, I have created one called tags. So I actually set this up. This is not a Pipedrive field. And so I set this up as a multi-option field. And so if I want to, I could add new options in here. Let's just say, uh, you know, let's say real estate because he's part of, you know, he works in real estate. I could add that option. Let's save my custom fields. And so now I can add this, you know, real estate tag in here, or it's really just a, a custom field. I've got a couple of other things here. I've got, here's another one for skill set. So um, I can, uh, say, right, you know, who, who are we dealing with here? This is Tim Cook. Okay, so he is really good with management and logistics and I suppose operations as well. So I can apply all of those different um, kind of groups or, or custom fields to this particular contact. Now, once I've done that, if I go back to my contacts here, an easy way to then find these people is to use a filter. So up here, I'm going to add a new filter and I'm going to look for any person where the label is, and I can look for customers, and I want to look for the skill set is, you know, let's say, actually, let's say contains, because they might have more than one option, but let's just say contains management. Let's see if we find anyone. Yep, it's found, uh, it's found Tim Cook and David Merrill here. And so that is one easy way that we can find contacts that fall into different categories and uh, that satisfy different criteria that we're looking for. But one of the most useful ways to be able to find a contact is to use the search. And, you know, I often just want to be able to type something in and have a bunch of contacts appear. And so the way to do this is by creating a new custom field, which I recommend everyone have in their Pipedrive account, called Notes. And so this is just simply a large text field where I can type anything I want. So I can say Tim is the CEO of Apple, likes bananas as well, uh, you know, 
enjoys long walks or whatever. So I can just type, type in some stuff. And then when I want, I could say, right, let's just look for that word banana. It's gonna find, I can, I can narrow my search down to people. There we go, you can actually see here, it's found that word banana in the text field. So I do this all the time. I just type some keywords into a contact and then I can search for the word design. And so now it's found, oh look, here's Johnny Ive. Oh, Johnny works in design, right. So that's how Pipedrive picked up this contact. But there was another one there and that was, if we go to people again, Tom Jones. In this case, because I have the title field, the job title, he's the lead designer. So Tom Jones appeared for that same word design, even though the text appeared in a slightly different field. So this notes field is really useful because I can type anything I want in there, you know, just being a little bit descriptive, putting in some words that I might want to search for later. And that's a really powerful way to then go back and find contacts that meet certain criteria. So as a quick recap, the labels are typically used as the main way to identify what type of contact are they? Are they a customer or a referral partner, things like that. You can then set up custom fields with different drop-down options if you want to categorize or tag people into different buckets. Or if you want to be really versatile, you can use a notes field. You can type some, some words and keywords into that field, which the system can go and search for later. If you have any questions about anything I've covered here today, please feel free to leave me a question below. And if you would like more one-on-one -on -one help with Pipedrive, then click that link in the description, and I'd love to talk more about how we can help you to get the most out of Pipedrive. One more time, thank you very much for listening and I will catch you in the next video.